Next we have Omiriel Boucher. For the first time, the Hall of Fame is introducing a new award for achievement in public service. Omiriel is our first honoree, and she has had a lifetime of experience, mainly in the private sector, as an entrepreneur, author, and business leader. For 14 years, she was a trainer and a consultant who eventually started her company, Visionamics Inc., from which she pioneered implementation of best practices, benchmarking, and workforce innovation for clients including Johnson Controls, McDonald's, Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, and the Environmental Protection Agency. But it was her success in the public service career at Ivy Tech that has had the greatest impact on the well-being of Northwest Indiana. Ms. Boucher started working at the college part-time, but her job grew to encompass innovation and entrepreneurship at four Northwest Indiana campuses. Her belief in the possibilities of teamwork knows no bounds. Please join me in appreciation and thanks to Amariel Boucher for her continued leadership in educating the workforce of tomorrow and dedication and commitment to Northwest Indiana. Will my Ivy Tech family please stand? Ivy Tech, you know, I'll have my timing now. Hurry up and do it, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm acknowledging them this way because we don't have time to call out the name, so don't get mad at me if I don't mention your name today. This is a wonderful occasion and give an honor to our governor, as well as I appreciate the committee, Bill Nangle, Chris White, and all that, uh, my nominator, Dr. Janelle Irving, for this honor. And I'm very humble because as I look out and see all of you in the sea of faces, those that are here and those who are not here, but I know that your wife, she's here. My mom, dad, they're here. And it's just an honor to have that good feeling. And if you notice, as all of my classmates, as we all are now, we're talking, that theme of love was dominating. And it was that love to keep you moving and to keep you going. So it's just a wonderful thing. And when I think about, they say, what you give out in the universe, you get back tenfold. Well, we must have given a shipload. <laughs> We all together, the five of us, uniquely in our own way represent thousands of people who could have been here receiving this honor. And like my colleagues, I'm glad it's me. <laughs> Oftentimes, we forget to say thank you. And this is a humbling experience. And I have to say thank you. Very much appreciated. And as John knows, a lot of times I say it's the attitude of gratitude. So when things are going wrong, just think about the things to be grateful for, even the long winter. And it all will work out as it has. You have my bio and have been seeing it as all of our bios have been well written in the news magazines and the newspaper. And for that, we thank you. But there's a few things I want to share about who, what makes O'Muriel O'Muriel. Uh, respond to me just uh, Quickly, if I spell T-R-U-L-Y, what does that spell? Truly. D-U-L-Y? Okay. J-U-L-Y? Uh-huh, somebody said it. I heard Julie. I won't call you out. It came from over there, though. You know, when you grew up in a household, mother, father, and a surrogate grandmother, you knew you were always protected. And we never felt like we had a babysitter. So when my grandmother would come over, she would run us through those exercises, three, four, five, six years old. When you have that around you all the time, you just feel comfortable. You grew up with words like, a bird in a hand is better than two in a bush. The early bird gets the... Okay, we learn those things, and so constantly you hear it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 15, 16 years old. It gives you security, it gives you support. One other thing, I know uh, my friend Jim may have heard of this. How do you spell Mississippi? M I, crooked letter, crooked letter I, crooked letter, crooked letter I, humpback, humpback I. Anybody ever heard of that? Show of hands. <laughs> Why am I messed up the way I am? <laughs> I can't help it. It's been in our blood and in our family, and that is how we grew up. Always doing something different, off the wall, and with a crazy father and a loyal, hardworking mother as well. It was one of those things that just became who we are. What I'd like to talk about is respect, trust, honesty, support, friendship. Respect, I will give it. 
and I expect it. Trust is earned. And if you really know me, if it's ever violated, the relationship will never be the same. Honesty is not always the best policy. Tell her she looks good in those pants. <laughs> Sometimes you must release the right to be right. Let me say that again. Sometimes you must release the right to be right. I stopped at the stop sign. That's what I was supposed to do. But I looked at the oncoming traffic and a guy was coming about 100 miles an hour. Well, I was right because I stopped. So I'm just going to go right on out there in the traffic. Just because I was right didn't mean I should continue on when I see danger coming. Release the right to be right. Support is so important. And that's why you're here today supporting all of us. Because without that, we would not be able to do what we're doing. Support is to me is like long-lasting friendships. They grow over time. I have acknowledged my Ivy Tech family. At my tables, I have uh, Becky Sakopoulos, who is known to be a grant writer and a mother for those at the school who are looking for a surrogate parent to help guide them. I, when I talk, my voice goes out of the classroom, down the hall, and back. She happened to hear me one day. And she started listening to my class lectures and the way the students would interact with me. And then she went to Chancellor Emeritus Lupe Valtier and said she needs to be a full-time person. And a few years later, it made it happen. Thank you so much, Becky, for that. I have also think about the gentleman who first introduced me, who's no longer here. You may have known him, Al Fabian. Great guy. A man who lived his words. And when you have models like that and then you emulate them, life is great. I also know that as I got into Ivy Tech, and a lot of you know me from the Center for uh, Gerald I. Lampkin Innovation Entrepreneurship Center, I had an executive director that would say, what's your idea? Oh, that's good. Run with it. I support you. How could I fail? Bill Thone, thank you so much. That was wonderful. I appreciate you. Now you also look at the fact that I had a very strong team. My team consists of Lynette Fulton Driver, John Davies, and myself. I refer to us as that three-legged stool, because without one of those legs, we fail. Lynette's been supportive. Lynette, you've always had my back. Stop looking away from here. Thank you so much. <laughs> John Davies is just like this. If he's ying, I'm yang. And together, we are a powerful team. I'm glad to be known as an innovation team with a big I. The A team would not have been good. I like the letter A, but that would have to make me Mr. T, and that could not be, that would not work. <laughs> so as we look at that support that comes around and around the table, I have a whole table over here of people who have made it from, um, I wrote a book when I was in my consulting business with a former Harley, uh, Harlem Globetrotter. His name is Harry, oh, I'm sorry, sorry, Hallie, Hallie the Comet Bryant. His lovely wife, Dolores, they're my Indianapolis family. They came up today. Thank you so much. I can wave. I can't see you. The light is blinding me. And just other great colleagues. Long time ago, when I was in my consulting business, I had a, a man that was with me. He was my assistant. Some people, tongue in cheek, called him my bodyguard. I called him my friend. Roger Stevens, he's a friend of over 40 years. Hello there, Roger. And then, of course, I have, uh, oh, about 35 years ago, I was a treasurer of an American can company. And of course, we had nights and nights and nights of working with deals and contracts. And what happens is that over time, you end up developing these relationships that still now to this day, very close relationship with Clara and Ira Bell, thank you so much. And we've gone through deaths and bar mitzvahs all together at the same time. So I love the diversity of having different friends and enjoying cultures because that's who I am. And that defines me. And also, I have with me from Michigan, my very first administrative assistant over 35 years ago, Kathy Janiszewski. Thank you. Her name was Tchaikovsky then, so she really changed it, right? <laughs> Kathy, thank you so much. And so as we continue to think about who we are, we can never be so arrogant to say, I made it on my own. No, 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 no. Because even when you didn't know who was helping you, somebody was carrying you. And we have to remember that. It's very important. So as I close, I would like to mention to you that we have to remember that the world is big and we're just this little sand pebble that's in this earth trying to make a difference. And we'll scratch it up sometimes and we'll have somebody holding us at knife point sometimes. 
And usually I hear about people, when you go collect money, you break their knees. I haven't heard of the reverse story, so thank you for sharing me that. <laughs> So what I like to tell you that in looking at family's lessons of respect, trust, honor, support, and friendship, family is that deepest love of all. And I think that uh, because of that, all of those great values I learned with the family. So I could not not acknowledge my twin brothers. If you are not looking twice, we, do, we are drinking tea, not wine. Martin and Marvin Boucher, they're my twin brothers, and they are here. Let's give them a round of applause. And I know I'm going to embarrass him, but the most important guy in my life, because you didn't hear about a husband, I don't have one, looking. But anyway, <laughs> uh, the most important guy in my life, and the twins won't mind because our parents gave us the best gifts anybody could ever get, and that was each other. And my oldest brother, Bill Boucher, please stand. He came into the uh, airport from uh, Minnesota. We were hoping that he did not get snowed in. He got in at quarter to 12 last night. I picked him up and we got home about 1.30 this morning and we're both doing pretty good. So thank you so much for coming and thank you for coming. And I know I'm the only thing between you and that door, so I'm gonna say thank you and have a great evening.